Alright, what's going on guys, it's Flex, and today I'm showing you how to make a free-for-all box fight map that you can publish as your own for you and your friends to play. So first of all, you're going to want to go into creative mode and go into the item shop and type in support a creative code Flex with two X's if you want to support me. Alright, next thing you want to do once you're in the game is you're going to want to go over here and create a new map up here. And when you create a new map, I like to do this one right here, the XL Grid Island. Press confirm. I already made the map, so it's gonna be right here. The box fight tutorial is what I named it. And then you set the portal. It might take a second to load in. That's not a big deal. And then once you're in here, you're gonna press on your uh, little phone, and then go to your inventory. And then you're gonna go to creative. And you're gonna go over to galleries. And then the gallery I like to do is the village shops gallery. You can do any galleries. There's so many of them. But my favorite ones. You got. You kind of just choose your favorite. My favorite is the uh, village shops so I'm gonna go here and press open and then I like to do uh, these walls it doesn't really matter what walls you choose it's just gonna be the base design of your box fight and then I like to do two different kind of walls so I'll do this right here and then you're gonna go back and then click on it and then set your grid snap to two it's on the left side on the left of your screen make sure it's set to two and then, because if it's set to one, it might it might get offset right there, so it's not in the middle. So I like to set it to two, and then I like to build a seven by seven. Actually, I like this side of it. Yeah, yeah, so. And then once you're done with that, you can select all of them by clicking. R for me, or if it's uh, on controller, it's a different button, and then you select all of them. And I like to build a 7x7, seven seven. it just works the best for me. Really anything, you can do a 6x6 six six or 7x7, seven seven. it all kind of depends on what you want to do. And if the, if you're getting an issue with, with when you're placing, it's not placing right there. You want to go into your options on the left, and make sure your drops are off. Because if they're on, then they'll it, this won't be able to place on top of this. Make sure the drops are off and then select and you're going to build it just too high I actually rotated it so change it back and then i like to use this side of it so that's what i'm going to do make sure that it's set. if you're getting an issue where you can't see it just push it away on the left side of your screen Here's your walls. Now I'm going to place my floors. If you're getting this glitch right here where it's making your, your floor glitch out, it's most likely because you misplaced a floor. So right here, there's two floors placed. So you're going to want to press the on one of them. And it should, be, it should go away. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm trying to select all these. Copy. All right, and then once you have your floor done over here, you're gonna wanna, I like to come over here because it's kind of difficult to copy the floor. It all looks the exact same, so I like to lay it out on these tiles. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then from here, I like to come here and select them all. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then press copy. You're gonna move it down. You're gonna lay out your roof. If, I actually, if you actually do this, it's not that big a deal. You're just going to want to copy these and place an extra one right here. There you go. So you have the four. I actually messed up there. All right. So now you have your box five map built. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and go to settings right here. So you're going to go um, my island and game. And then max player 16, voice chat. We set that to all. Teams, free for all. Team size dynamic. Um, Keep this all the same. Spawn limit, one. After last spawn, go to uh, spectating, my bad. Total rounds, I like to have this like 100. It's just the amount of rounds that are in the actual game. Team rotation, no. Uh, disable team rotation, right. um, Time limit, I like to have no time limit. Um, fastest time win. I want to finish, no. Um, Last standing ends game. This is the most important. Last standing ends game needs to be on. That join in progress is also very important. You're going to set it to 
uh, spawn on next round. Uh, spawn pads. Keep all this the same. Auto start. You can turn this on. You can turn this on after. I like to do it after like 80 seconds or around there. That's just how much time is gonna be uh, on when people actually join the game. Game start countdown three seconds. And then that should be it for now. For this, so now go over to settings. Um, time of day you can set this to wherever you want. I like to do it at like uh, at like. 8 p.m. Any day works. That's just all your specific settings. Um, allow healthy charge no. Max health 100 100. A lot of people like to do uh, 75 shield so that you can one pump. So if you want to do that, you can just set this to um, right here. You can set it to 75, but um, or 100 if you want to do 200 health, 200 shields. Um, I like to set it to 75. That way, it's, people are able to one pump. Down here, we're gonna go to. Um, Infinite ammo off, infinite consumables off, infinite building materials off. Maximum is 500. Keep all this the same. Um, right here, building can destroy environment. Turn that to no. Environment damage all. All right, no, no, no. Turn this to player build only. And then keep all this the same. Um, a lot of people like jump fatigue off. It doesn't really matter. That's just most people know what that is. Um, allow hurdling. I, I like it on. Sprinting on. Keep all this the same. And then right here, this is a siphon. So health grant on elimination. So all I said is health grants on elimination. I like said it to 50. Because that siphon is where uh, when you get a kill, you get 50 health. Um, I think that, yeah, that's it. And then right over here, I like to set this all to three seconds. That way, there's not that, that makes it to where there's almost no wait time in between each game, in between each round. I mean, um, right here, round one condition, you're gonna set this to uh, time alive, and then next you're gonna set this to I like eliminations. If you want to show people's eliminations and their, I like to show their. Their damage dealt. Excuse me, sorry, I skipped over. Their damage dealt, so you can see how much damage they've dealt to other people. And then you can add more if you'd like, but I just like those two. And then all this could be the same. You could edit. You could edit this if you want to make a different call out when someone wins. Make some different show on the screen, but um, you can use all this the same. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go into your inventory and get these right here. Type in spawner or player and get your player spawners right here. And then um, you want to place down one player spawner to start right here, and then you want to edit it. So we'll go here, customize player spawner. I'm um, going to turn use this island start off, visible and game off, and then keep all this the same. It's the only thing you're going to change on these. And then go. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to set up 16 of these, or 10, depending on how many people you want to do. Two. Spawners. These are a little close together, so I'm just gonna scoot this one over. This one. This one. Okay. Alright, so there's my 16 player spawners. And then next thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to. You wanna type in. Uh, this, so team settings and inventory. You wanna go here, place one of these down. And then this is what you're gonna give your uh, weapon, get what, get what weapons you're gonna give. So what I like to do is you just keep all the settings the same, but now go into your inventory and go to uh, weapons, and then I'm gonna I like to type in assault rifle, and then I'm just gonna do normal weapons for box fight maps, which is a blue AR, and a gold or purple pump, whatever one. You can change the weapons if you'd like, and then also don't forget to do this. You have to go into your consumables. And choose wood equipped, and then you can choose brick too, and stone if you'd like, to, or uh, stone and metal if you'd like to. And then make sure you get your ammo. Do one thing of that, and then two things of these, or three. And then you want to get your small shield potions. I like to get three of those, and then go down and get your fish. Your slow fish right here. I like to get one of those. And then
then now go over to right here, go over to play, and then drop everything in here inside of this. And this should pick up all the items right there. So now it has all the items inside of it. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your inventory again, and you're gonna go to devices and type in the uh, timed objective right here. I'm gonna go and place this, and then change the settings on this uh, time. Right, I'm gonna go over here. Time, I like to set it to five or three. I like three because it's shorter. Start when round starts, turn this to yes. Timer label text, turn this to um, barrier drop in, or uh, round start in, whatever you, or game start, whatever you want to set it to. Um, build in game doesn't matter. Um, none of this matters besides. No, that's it for now. None of this matters. Now we're going to go over to. Um, Right here, you want to type in the barrier, your barrier device. We'll place this down inside here. We can set one up right here for now. All right, next thing you want to do is go into your barrier settings. Um, enable on phase, change this to always. Um, phase filter during game, you turn it off. Um, barrier material, this is how, what it's going to look like. I like to do it on the blue force field. Next, we're going to change uh, zone shape to hollow box. We're change the barrier depth and width to, this, to just one. Barrier height, you're going to change the height of your box fight. So I like to do two. That's the height of mine. It matches there. All right, next, you're going to go into your uh, functions right here. You're going to go to disable when receiving from. You're going to type in your timed objective on completed. Now you want to go and copy this and move it inside your box fight and place it on top, on top of all of your spawners. And then uh, now that you got them all placed, if you feel like these are too close together, you can spread out your player spawners and your uh, barriers into the middle. So you can put something so that people spawn in the middle. I don't really like doing that that much. That way no one gets like targeted really bad in the middle right away, even though they're going to be able to build. I still like to keep it around the outside and then next to each other. Whatever whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter. The next thing you want to know with that is you're going to come up here and you're going to want to get to uh, go to your inventory, look up the uh, storm, you're going to look up basic storm controller, place it right in the middle of your box fight. Alright, so you're going to want to go into your uh, basic storm controller here, you want to set um, generate storm, yes. Initial radius, you can set this to whatever you want, as long as it covers, so I like to do 40, because that covers about perfectly to where this purple circle has to cover the entire box fight, and 40 just works out pretty well. And then final radius, zero, wait time, uh, wait time, set this to five seconds. Uh, resize time, set this to, I like to set it to 90, that's what works best for me. Make sure that is the same amount as the move time, it'll say minutes, but it's 90 seconds, same thing, one and a half minutes. Um, and then storm six, you turn it on or off, and that should be good. Now, if you want us to do a uh, a pregame lobby, it's not required, but it's totally optional. But if you want to, go right here and you set up. I'm you can usually set up a big square, make it decorative, whatever you want to do. And I'll show you an example of a decorative one right after this. But for now, I'm just going to set up a box, just for an example. And then um, you're going to want to get a player spawner again. spawner and then set it right here and then in here you're going to set this to um, enable during phase pre-game only um, uses island start on and visible during game off and there you go I have a pre-game spawner it's supposed to be red don't worry that way it's only in the pre-game phase and now you should have a working box fight map so I'm gonna go ahead and start the game Barrier drops in 3, 2, 1, and then here's your box right now. And then the storm's about to start closing, so now you're fighting with your friends, you share this with your friends, co workers, teammates, classmates, and then, yeah, work the box mode. If you want to add uh, to where people have brick too, you just go into your item spawner and select brick and drop it into your team settings and inventory spawner. Now, as you're going, the storm should start to close in. And I have it 
on a that's it so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your uh, my island and this is if you are if you're able to publish islands not everyone is able to but if you have a sport creator card or if you're able to uh, publish islands you go to tools publish your island it'll create a private code for you and then you uh, go on your phone or you go to this website right here and then you can publish your island super easy and then if you want to test it you can copy this code and you can try it on your own and then yeah you can also change your description in here you know, to everything you'd like to uh, free for all box fight and then if you guys want to try out my box fight map that I made I'll show you guys it real quick yeah, I made it a uh, prison based so if you guys want to check that out here's my box fight map that I made here's the code up here 607817736365 and then so this is the code for mine you can go ahead I'll show you kind of the looks of it and how it looks once you're in the game with a pre-game lobby and with this one that I made was a 2v2 but free for all is the same thing if you want a video on how to make a 2v2 box fight leave a comment down below I can do 2v2 3v3 uh, 4v4 whatever you guys would like to see right here and this is uh there's my creator code and this is the map so this is my pre-game lobby that I made so I made it a prison base and um, as you can see, uh, it's there's only four max people that can be in here because I, this is a two v two. But if you guys want want to know how to make a prison base like this, then let me know and I can show you guys a tutorial on how I did it. But this is what it should look like for your one v ones if you want to make a pregame lobby, whatever uh, style you want to do. And then as you load in, as you see right here. So you should be able to load in, and right as you load in, you should spawn with your weapons, and now begins. So this is my 2v2 one, as you guys can see, but it's the exact same thing as the 1v1. And this one doesn't have the storm because it's a 2v2 map, but my free-for-all map has the storm, and but this is kind of what it will look like in a game. And so if you guys want to try this one out, the uh, island code's at the top, and, and thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time. Peace.